The biggest skin concern, acne. If you've tried everything but are still not getting the results you wanted, it's important to observe your skincare products. How do I use the acne care ingredients that work for my skin? Hey Westrenders, welcome back to Westrend TV. It's your sister Eunice here. Now, there are many people that are battling with acne and you probably watched all the acne related videos out there, but you still haven't found the solution. In today's Skinpedia, we're going to talk about how to deal with acne. Now, we're going to share which ingredients are effective for acne and how to create a skincare routine including these ingredients, so don't go anywhere and stay tuned in. First, you have to know the cause of your acne in order to find a solution. There are so many different causes for acne, but today I will talk about the causes that can be taken care of with your skincare. Excessive sebum secretion, which is something that extremely oily skin types or people going through puberty experience, is the main cause of acne. If proper exfoliation is not done, the pores get clogged and sebum secretion gets delayed. Propionibacterium acnes is a good bacteria living in the pores that usually does not harm the skin, but when pores get clogged because of excessive sebum, it creates an infection and you can get acne. During puberty, it is natural for sex hormones to increase, meaning the appearance of acne is also very natural. So hormone therapy is a very important part of treating acne. Today, I will tell you how to treat acne with just skincare, without any medication and without affecting your hormones. Sulfur Sulfur decreases acne, inducing bacteria P. acnes, and removes dead skin cells and excessive oil. It is usually found in spot treatment products that target problem areas. Because you can see results from a low concentration, sulfur concentration is usually lower than 5%. Sulfur should be applied in small areas because it can make our skin dry. So it is important to use only a small amount when using a tube type product like this one. This product has only 3%, so it's really good for people who are using sulfur for the very first time. Sulfur products have a unique smell that some people may not like, but you'll be able to see really good results in just a few days. Calamine Calamine is a composite of zinc oxide and iron oxide that is known for being effective for itchiness. Now, thanks to its anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, skin soothing effects, and not to mention that it's also great for acne. But similar to sulfur, calamine makes our skin dry, so it should be only used on the problem areas and it is important to use a moisturizer with it. If you're worried about calamine drying your skin, look for a product that is a moisturizer with calamine as an ingredient. This product not only has calamine but madecasoside as well, which is effective for skin regenerations, so you can take care of your acne and calm and moisturize all at the same time. You can use this cream which has a beautiful pink shade of calamine all over the face or just in small areas. Retinol Retinol is a type of retinoid which is a vitamin A derivative. It is known to be effective for wrinkles, but it's also effective for acne. Retinol removes outermost layer of the epidermis and stimulates the production of new collagen and skin cells, speeding up the turnover cycle of dead skin cells. However, retinol can cause itchiness, dryness, and sensitivity to sun. So if it's your first time using retinol, we want to recommend to use it in low concentration. When you start using retinol, keep in mind that you may experience skin irritation, redness, and peeling during the process of developing resistance. As effective as retinol is, there are some precautions that you have to be aware of. Retinol is sensitive to the UV rays, so it's recommended that you use it at night. And when it's used during the day, it's very important to wear sunscreen. Also, remember to use a moisturizer because it may cause dryness. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding at the moment, please avoid using retinol. Propolis extract. Propolis extract, known for strengthening the immune system, is also effective on bacterial acne because of its antibacterial effects. Not only that, but it's very helpful for collagen composition and it helps to create a healthy skin barrier, which is very effective for healing acne scars. 
Unlike other ingredients known to be effective on acne, propolis doesn't make your skin dry or irritated, so it's okay to use in high concentration. This product is an ample type product with 15% concentration. It's also made with Hutuania cordata extracts rather than purified water, having a strong antibacterial and soothing effect. Propolis doesn't interfere with any other ingredients, so it's an easy ingredient to add into your skincare routine. Salicylic Acid Salicylic acid, also known as BHA, is a plant extract that has an exfoliating effect. AHA is also an exfoliating ingredient, but there is a reason we recommend BHA more. BHA is made up of small oil-based substances, so it can penetrate through not only the surface of your skin, but also into the pores as well, melting away blackheads and other impurities. So we recommend it for oily skin types. Also, it has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial effects that are great for acne. This product has a natural BHA called willow bark water and 0.9% of betaine salicylate. Soak your toner onto a cotton pad and wipe along the skin texture to remove the dead skin cells effectively. You might ask, Onni, what if I have combination skin? To those people, we recommend using BHA for your oily areas and AHA for your dry areas. But if you feel like it's too much, then what you need to do is you don't have to use two different products. Try using a toner that has both AHA and BHA. Alrighty, so now we recommended five ingredients to add into your skincare routine and we shared what each ingredient does for our skin. But using a product that shows drastic results, it's not everything. You need to be cautious of the ingredients that may be too strong for your skin. Also, please do remember that it's better to use a product that might not show results immediately, but that is still gentle and that is effective for your skin. All right guys, so now I feel like we're more aware of acne healing ingredients. However, I think some of you guys might not know which product to get. So now I feel like we're more aware of the acne treating ingredients. However, I think some of you guys might be like, Onni, which product should I get? So that's why we have prepared some tips for you. Now the first tip is to start with a low intensity product. Like I mentioned before, products that show immediate results can be very strong. So that's why it's very important to start with a low intensity product. Give your skin some time to get used to the ingredients. And if your skin doesn't get irritated, switch to a higher concentration or apply it more frequently. Secondly, use or try out different ingredients. Acne usually appears due to a combination of different reasons rather than just one cause. So it's important to try out different products to find out the ingredient that works for your skin rather than using just one ingredient. Now, if you tried using one of the ingredients I've mentioned today but didn't see the results that you were looking for, you should try a new product with a different ingredient. But in order to prevent skin irritation, don't use too many products at the same time. Try out the product with plenty of time in between or use a product during the daytime or a different product at nighttime. All right guys, so today we learned about five ingredients that are effective for acne treatment. All the links that we talked about will be in the description below, so please do check it out if you're interested. And if there's a topic that you want us to discuss on Skinpedia, make sure to comment below and Oni will check it out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in until the very end and we will see you in the next one. Bye, Wish Trenders!